Mom, do you want my green stuff? <laughs> That's called the tamale, steamer. It's the best part. It's the shit, Steam. Don't eat it. Are you screwed up, Charlie? I'm thinking of dropping pre-med, dropping out of school and coming back here for a while. Oh, God. Girls, eat your hearts out. Oh, oh, no! <laughs> Never mess with my hair. I can't believe you did that. I thought the U.S. Army kept its word. I thought maybe we were the only ones left who did. Whoa, whoa! That's it, Daddy. Wait, hey, hey. Oh, oh. Edgar, there's been a terrible mistake here. See this party? This party was last weekend. You know, we knew they were out there and sneaking up on us. But we also knew it, uh, at first light they were going to attack. I don't know why people think only good things happen when the sun comes up. One of the main reasons that we started this whole thing was to finally meet the guys that do Blunt Man and Chronic. Snoochie booches, huh? I hope that you are astonished, as I am, at the lengths to which a wealthy insurance company like the defendant will go to take money from a low-income family and then keep it. Do you like apples? Yeah. Well, I got a number. How do you like them apples? <laughs> Tell her that when you found me, I was here, and I was with the only brothers that I have left, and that there's no way I was going to desert them. You were looking for that third three, but you forgot that Professor Green folded it on 4th Street, and now you're representing that you have it. Um, the DA made his two pair, but he knows they're no good. Judge Kaplan was trying to squeeze out a diamond flush, but he came up short, and Mr. Eisen is futilely hoping that his queens are gonna stand up. Whose house? Run's house! I said, whose house? Run's house! May I? What are you doing? Oh, oh. I was just amusing myself. You know, the odds of a ship docking are a thousand to one. And that would be the one. Uh... But congratulations with all that. That's, that's great. That's really, really, really great. We got a bunch of the guys in the office following you. Oh, so... I come from my horse. Rollins and Blevins horses too. I don't have your horses. You by God know where they're at though. Jackie? Yeah? It's hunting season. Applesauce, bitch. Okay, I ask you a question. You have to think of the answer. Where do you look? No good. You look down, they know you're lying. And up, they know you don't know the truth. Don't use seven words when four will do. Don't shift your weight. When bullies rise up, the rest of us have to beat them back down, whatever the cost. That's a simple idea, I suppose. Oh, my hand seems to be traveling up your thigh towards your, uh... <laughs> Rockin' ass! <laughs> uh, but who cares, right? Because I'm gay! I had been waiting so long to run free. But that goodbye was harder than I ever imagined. I was, uh, I was thinking of taking him outside and whipping his ass. Just kind of as a thing, you know, I mean, do you, if you have a problem with that, I mean, maybe you can come with me. I know the best place to look for a gun is the cab of the gray truck outside. And at this altitude, I can run flat out for a half mile before my hands start shaking. Now, why would I know that? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God, did you see that? Oh, wow, that was incredible. I think you just found Bernie Swing. Yeah, Bernie, maybe you could take some lessons from your wife. Oh, my God. Are you Matt Damon? Yeah, I'm going to puke. <laughs> this is so weird. My name is Pat Damon. Really? <laughs> yeah, people said we should always get married. <laughs> Who's your friend? Oh, yeah, uh, Pat Damon, Matt Damon, Matt Damon, Pat Damon. Yeah, maybe we should get married. I don't think so. Mm. Can you please tell me what a girl is like who has never been on a date before and how you can tell? Well, 
<laughs> if you're ever uh, if you're ever in town, and I mean I know you're in town now, but I mean if you're ever in town, you're not like in a bar. Um, I'm sorry that came off wrong. It sounded like you're some kind of skanky whore. Scotty doesn't know. Oh, Scotty doesn't know. So don't tell Scotty. Scotty doesn't know. Scotty doesn't know. You went ape shit. You trashed your client back to the Stone Age. Yeah. We bow to you, man. You're like a god around here. Yep, exactly. I understand. <laughs> Oh, let the sun beat down upon my face, stars to fill my dreams. I am a traveler in both time and space. People talk about them in Marsburg. They're famous. Right you are, son. The famous Brothers Grimm. Look at this strapping young lad. He is my daughter. And a fine wife. He'll make some lucky man. Now, you want to know what the business world thinks of you? We think a hundred years ago you were living out here in tents in the desert, chopping each other's heads off, and that's exactly where you're going to be in another hundred. So, yes, on behalf of my firm, I accept your money. Thank you. Well, what is this? A citizen's arrest? Blow me. All right, only one of us is a cop here, Bill. You understand that, Bill? No one knows who well, you're fucking Just shut up. the fuck up! I'm a sergeant in the Massachusetts State Police. Who the fuck are you? I erased you! I have stood by stood you. For 22 me? years, I have stood you by you. You don't know what it is to stand by I have stood by, by you, and I've stood you by him. him. I have done everything you to be a him. good father to you him. You have done no such I thing. I married you because of him! <sighs> Excuse me. I remember everything. I'm no longer Jason Ford. So now you're gonna kill me? No. You don't deserve the star they give you on the wall at Langley. Matt Damon, what drives you? Well, Casey, I prefer to ride my bike whenever I can. <laughs> and to think, 10 months ago, on January 8th, you turned 74 years old. Ellos no quieren unirseles y no los quieren aquí. Y ustedes no tienen el derecho a arruinar sus vidas. Hey, my son is working the signal all by himself. Can you believe that? Mark Whitaker, secret agent 0014. Why 0014? Because I'm twice as smart as 007. In the near term, I would like a check. Okay. Okay, for how much? Do what's right, Vince. Don't be a cheapskate, man. Do it today, okay? Don't make me wait. I'm going to be waiting. I'd like to propose a toast. To the taste of defeat. Drink it. Remember this. And promise yourself, never to taste it again. Jerry, why the fuck do we keep coming up empty on all these sites? There has got to be a reason. Chief, we're here to do a job and get home safe. That's all. The reasons don't matter. They matter to me. <laughs> You're a pilot, huh? I should pick your brain. I'm developing a daytime talk show with Sully Sullenberger. Yeah, I met that guy. He's not that great. You know what a great pilot would have done? Not hit the birds. That's what I do every day, not hit birds. Where's my ticket to the Grammys? If you're worried about being on your own, don't be. You're not. Because he is you. And you are him. He is a crafty one. I thought him slow-witted myself. That was his act. It was a good one. Are you some kind of law? That's right. I'm a Texas Ranger. I can go through this door alone. You'll never see me or the people chasing us again. Or you could come with me. And I don't know what's on the other side, but I know you'd be next to me. And that's all I've wanted since the minute I met you. If it was summer, I might say a, a bug bite, you know, West Nile. Herpes can cause encephalitis. She didn't have herpes. What are you talking about? Okay. What happened to her? What happened to okay. her? Okay. Haven't you ever been put in a new situation and found that after overcoming its difficulties, you had developed a new set of skills and new experiences along the way? No, I really haven't. Okay. 
Wake me up before you go go, 'cause I'm not planning on going solo. Wake me up before you go go. Can you keep I'm it down? That Just be quiet. We bought a zoo. Yes, we did. We did buy a zoo. Give me some fork. Three best friends with holiday cheer. We're smelling all the flowers and munching on pizza. We're stealing socks and digging through trash and paying for our meth with sexual favors. Now, when no stop coming, when all the help stops coming, and you got nowhere left to go, you're gonna remember this conversation and remember the guy who came in and looked you in the eye and said, "Fuck you." <laughs> I mean, I just basically need a cause that's about the size of Clooney's cause, only with bigger tits. I mean, that guy he puts on a Hawaiian shirt and they hand him a fucking Oscar. Oh come on, just this one thing. No, I don't want to. Huh? I don't pooch, want to. Pooch, pooch, pooch. Come on, I want to ride my stuff. little scooter? <laughs> you can ride my Most little scooter. Come on, where? Oh, let's see. No. Oh, Daddy. Yeah. Stop. I seem to have stepped on a landmine of some sort. Why'd you do something like that? It was a slow day. Well, I wouldn't move. I'd like to at some point. You seem to have mistaken me for a considerably higher power. I'm not the source of your call. I'm not God or the devil. I'm just a man seeking the truth. I thought I was prepared to die. The truth is. I never really considered the possibility that my planet wasn't the one. I gotta live for 50 days inside a rover with marginal life support the size of a small van. So, in the face of overwhelming odds, I'm left with only one option. I'm gonna have to science the shit out of this. I know who I am. I remember everything. Remembering everything doesn't mean you know everything. The world is at war. We need the perfect weapon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon.